When we talk about Earth, it's land as well. Land. And for us and for many of the other First Nations in, on this continent, in this hemisphere, land or earth is our spiritual mother or our grandmother. Again, in our creation account, because earth rests upon the back of a turtle who's a grandmother. We know the earth as our grandmother, first woman, oldest woman, loving kind, compassionate woman who still nourishes us, who supplies our needs directly and indirectly. And this view of Earth as a spiritual mother or grandmother results or should result in a deep respect for the land, a reverence. We have a spiritual relationship thus with the land this earth. And beyond that, we have responsibilities, great and grave responsibilities that each one of you are here to carry out to protect this earth, our environment. And we must continue to be concerned about her welfare now that we are in that phase of our time when we are having to think of climate change and global warming. Those of us that were here first on this land have the responsibility of maintaining the health and the sanctity of our spiritual mother. We are her guardians. We have caretaking responsibilities. We are the stewards of this land. We continue to do that. We do that through our ceremonies. Where are we today? We know that temperatures are rising. We know that we have experienced heat waves. We have had record highs for longer periods of time. The polar ice caps are melting. That day and night are out of sync. And we know that Mother Earth, that beautiful, loving, most generous of all mothers, that her body has been violent, violently treated. We live in an increasingly polluted land. We have poisoned the earth and our babies. In fact, Chris sent me an article one time that says pollution begins in the womb. There was a study done in 2004 on the umbilical cords of 10 babies. And it was ascertained that there were over 200, 287 to be exact, pollutants in that baby's umbilical cord. Pollution beginning in the womb. John Hollowhorn, an Oglala Lakota, said in 1932, he said, someday the earth will weep. She will beg for her life. She will cry with tears of blood. And you will make a choice if you help her or let her die. <clears throat> and when she dies, you will die too. Wise words even back before, believe it or not, I came to walk on earth. I came to walk on earth two years later. But we have given little, if any, thought for tomorrow. And a Cree Indian man said in the 19th century, and I only make these points, which are much more succinct than I can say, only when the last tree has died and the last river has been poisoned and the last fish has been caught, we re will we realize that we cannot eat money. Mm -hmm. 
What we have to remember is that we are water. We are earth or land. We are air. We are fire. We live in an interdependent relational universe. Chief Joseph, the younger, which means thunder rolling down the mountain. And Nimipu Nespur said, the earth and myself are of one mind. The measure of the land and the measure of our bodies are the same. We are earth, we are water, we are air. We are fire. Those are our relations. We live in oceans of relations. We live in an exceptionally relational universe. And what happens out there happens to us, and what happens to us happens outside. We are all related. And in terms of kinship, surely we must learn to live, continue to live in proper relationship with one another and with all life proper relationships, because we know that there are consequences to human action. We are accountable. We must be ethical. We must be moral. We must be compassionate. And we are compassionate people as First Nations people. When we take care of ourselves, then we will take care of Earth. And when we take care of Earth, we will take care of ourselves. So thank you for allowing me to share that little bit about what the earth is to me and how I depend upon all of you to continue your great and wonderful work. And all I can do many times is send my prayers along with you, adding, adding them to the prayers of your ancestors. And all I do now is send my prayers out and over you for protection and good health, and not just over you, but for all of your relations for all time to come. Yeah. Thank you.